Uh, my name is David Stewart. I'm a professional wildlife sound recordist. Um, I've been recording for 41 years, but there's a lot to tell before I started, because you can tell by looking at me that I'm not a young fella. Up, yay. You gotta do it very quick with birds, because you see it and you gotta get onto it straight away. Turn on the recorder, and I'm recording. Every time I did a sound recording, because I I gained a really good knowledge of bird calls all around Australia and the habitat. So before I started the sound part of it, I knew a heck of a lot about birds. So um, when I started going into the field, I, the first thing I did when I came home was document it and catalogue all the sound. And right from the start, I, start, I identified every species calling in the background as best I could. And that went from 1980 to 1989. And then the, the arrival, and at that time I was never ever thought of becoming a professional sound recordist. The Sony DAT Pro 2 uh, digital recorder, that changed my life. So then I suddenly realised the sound was so much better that that's when I started in earnest recording my sound again. Because while I was doing it with the shotgun microphone, the, the, the little one, I'd recorded already 495 species. So when I started again in 1989, I had to do the whole lot again, basically. So my collection now for sound, I've got 725 Australian species. Probably heard that the, in the area charts, the music charts, our album actually got to number one. And it's still almost, I think we're number three right now on the um, sound album, best sound album for 2021 in Australia. So that was, that was pretty uh, amazing because I never expected that. I have been overseas quite a lot in recent years, but my whole life is Australia and I love the desert. When I come home, I have to listen to every track right through, identify as many species as I can and uh, document them in my catalogue. So that's how I came to really learn bird calls, because I had a reference base. And when I first started sound recording, I had to actually go out and find the species, because there was not very much published. There was certainly little sound in those days. So because I'd gained this knowledge of where the birds lived and the habitats they lived in all around Australia, I was then able to target certain species, like the grass wrens are a very interesting group. The rare and endangered species, I think, is what was the attraction to the public because this album was particularly brought to the attention of the Australian public and the world that our rare, our, a lot of our little bush birds and others are really threatened and we just brought it to the attention of the public and here they are. And so they've got 54 species on the album which are classified as rare and endangered. So the public have never had the opportunity to hear that before. And that's why I think it got such incredible uh, acceptance by the public and who voted it number one in the area charts, which was very exciting, really. We've been through lockdowns where we couldn't even get out of Queensland and I still can't travel overseas. But that doesn't come into this, of course, because I'd already done my collection to a very large degree before the endemic came. Australian speed. I've used that track, so 
Well, that really, I can just drag that straight in here. That's their alarm call. Stuart Australian Bird Songs app when this project emerged because um, I, I'd already recorded all the sounds that are on the album, you know, as part of my app. And if anyone buys the app, they're going to get all these species that are on the album, plus a lot more. Well, my life has been birds, basically. Here in this village, they call me the bird man. If I introduce myself as David Stewart, they just look at me, oh, David. And I say, everyone here knows me as the bird man. Oh, you're David Stewart. <laughs> so that's what I'm known as here where I live, is the bird man. And I have been all my life, basically. Even as a school kid, as I said, I started out by collecting birds' eggs. And I never, ever lost my passion for birds. And it's always been there. Even when I was working in Aboriginal affairs in the remote outback, you know, my spare time was devoted to trying to find the rare birds. Then when I was growing kiwi fruit, it was always birds. And all my trips as such were ab about sound recording birds. So it's been with me all my life.